Hi, in this video, we will talk about the benefits of MIS Deluxe Series Ink Refill Machines, and how they prevent any ink dripping, just after refilling. We have prepared two cartridges of the same kind. What we are going to do is, we will refill these cartridges with, and without vacuum, and show which one trips the ink and which one not, even we refill more than recommended volume of ink. Ok, let's start with weighing these two cartridges. The weight of the first cartridge is, 74 grains. And I am writing here. And the other one weighs, 94 grains. And I am writing its weight, as well. Now, let's refill the first cartridge, by syringe. Here, we can see that, the ink is following an indistinct path. As you can see, the ink is dripping from the cartridge and not absorbed by the cartridge sponge thoroughly. Furthermore, ink drops are dripping out of the refill hole. Anyway, let's weigh the cartridge again, to see the difference. It's 108 grains. Let's write this to the cartridge. The difference is 14 grains. However, due to indirect refilling technique, it makes a mess. Furthermore, there are left too many air bubbles inside the sponge. It seems like we refilled the cartridge thoroughly. In fact, we could only refill around 14 milliliters, and most of the ink drip out of the cartridge. As for the second cartridge, let's refill it with MIS Pro Deluxe Ink Refill Machine. However, this time, instead of 14 milliliters, let's refill 24 milliliters and see whether it is dripping ink or not. As usual, we place the cartridge into the chamber and insert the refill needle through the refill hole. In MIS ink refill machines, standard syringes are used. Let me show you. As you can see, this is a standard size, 20 cc syringe. And now, we will load 20 of, 24 milliliters ink. After loading the ink to the syringe, we are starting our machine. And wait for it to reach, 520 torque. As it reached 520 torque, we stop the machine, and press the metal button, to initiate the refilling. As you see, the sponge is completely filled, and even some ink has gone over the sponge. However, we will not stop, and add 4 more milliliter of ink. Ok, let's take a look here, very carefully. When the vacuum is released, the incoming air pushes the ink to the sponge. In other words, all 25 milliliters of ink has been filled to the same standard sponge. In fact, the ink should have dripped out of the cartridge. However, as you can see, there is no ink coming out. Because, thanks to vacuum filling technique, the sponge now holds the ink. Let's take a closer look again. When the vacuum is released, the incoming air pushes ink into the sponge, while removing all blank spaces inside. That way, sponge can hold the ink, and the risk for ink dripping is eliminated. 
and here is the direct comparison. No mess of ink, and no air bubbles. Even with this technique, we could refill more ink than required.